Hey guys, it's a special edition of the uh, Sunday song this week. Oh, about a week ago, or I guess a, a week ago tomorrow, um, my dad's best friend in the entire world, they've been friends since they were in second grade, he passed away. And, um, you know, since, since they've been friends for so long, he was there literally for my entire life. I mean, when I was a teenager, you name it. When I was a baby, when I was a teenager, you know, he was always there. So it almost felt more like family to me. But uh, so these last, you know, this last uh, several days, I've been kind of thinking about it and kind of been depressed about it. And then, uh, you know, yesterday I finally decided to sit down. I said, you know, just write a tune. So I grabbed a guitar off the wall, sat down to play it. And then I was looking up at this one. This is the uh, one I made in the garage out of a wooden box and a paint can lid. Sounds like glorious junk. But uh, anyway, I was looking up at this one. I said, you know what? If he was here, he'd tell me to write it on that so I did it took about five minutes to put this one together and I don't think that I wrote it at all I think it just wrote itself I happened to be there so uh, here we go I'll give this one a shot Have a choice. He couldn't stay. He took a train on down the line to a better place. But he left us a lot of trails that we can retrace. Well, he stopped to see some old friends, hug his mom and dad. And he finally got that plaque. It says, the best friend my daddy ever had. Well, he stopped by the Rainbow Bridge to see Dunn and Ace. And you know as well as I do, that put a smile on his silly old face. Oh, Randy, buddy, well, I remember all the hunting trips. The pancakes across the table and your off-color quips. Some say you was rough around the edges, but I say that. little bit of roughness for a lot of care well if he didn't like you you better bet you knew and when he told you a story man there was a 50% chance it was true but I'm gonna miss hearing them stories and his emails in my inbox he's still the only guy I met his socks. Oh, Randy, buddy, well, I remember the hunting trips, the pancakes across the table, and your off-color quips. Some say he was rough around the edges, but I say that ain't fair. Who wouldn't trade a little bit of a roughness for a lot of on the tailgate and those off-color quips. Well, he might have been rough around the edges, but he wasn't worse for wear. I like to think it was necessary roughness for a lot of care. I say it was necessary roughness with a lot of care. <laughs>